Hello! Welcome to my tutorial on how to get a speedrun timer for Mac, for OBS, or whatever software you want, but I know OBS. First, you want to open the first link, link number one. Scroll down to here, which is a bit down, and open 0.1.3.zip, time split tracker, that, that one, and then you want to click download right there. Thanks for downloading, that's right, that's what I need that for. Number two, go to the sample text document, second link, click this file, download, and plain text. Boom. Now I have all the files you need. And of course, if you're on OBS, you can go look at the third link, which is an OBS tutorial. Close that. Okay. Now that you have the two files. First, you want to go to downloads and then you want to go to timesplittracker.zip. Double click that so it unzips it, open the folder it made, and drag timesplittracker into applications. So now it's in applications. I can search timesplittracker and it'll be there. And I can just pop it down wherever I want to. Second, go to download again, you can now remove those two folders, you can remove the zip file and the folder it made, move that to bin, now go to sampletext.txt and drag that into documents. And what you want to make is you want to make a new folder called time split, or speed runs, or splits, or whatever you want to do, and drag the sample text into the time split. Now you can open sample text. This is pretty much only for organization, so that you can organize it easily. Now what you want to do is first type zero, then do a tab, zero dot zero zero, enter. Then you type in whatever you want, whatever the game you're playing is. For example, I can say I'm playing Mario Bros. Speedrun, tab, best splits. Tab, comparison, that's done. Next line, you do title of the part, for example, you can say world one, dash one, that tab, and you do 0, 0.00, tab, 0, 0.00, you enter, Tab, tab. Now I can copy this here and just enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste. And you don't, you want to leave these two here for program purposes. Now you've got all these worlds. I'll just fill in, change these names a little bit so you know that it works. All right. Now I can control S to save, or I can go into save and just click that, close the file. Now that's done. Now you want to go to time split, you open time split tracker, click open, and look at that, it's open. And it open it'll open this little window here, it'll click the window, go into documents and go into the file you made, time split, open your thing. Look at that. It's working. Then you can just do space, space, space to start doing whatever stuff you want to do. And you can turn on global hotkeys. That means even outside of Time Split Tracker, you can press space and it'll still work. Very interesting. Now, if you want to learn how to do it, put an OBS. You open OBS. You go into the plus button. You click Window Capture. Name it Time Split or whatever you want to do it. Window. You click Time Split Tracker. Boom. There it is. Okay. You can right click that. You can click Transform. Edit transform to crop the top. 
just like this. It's all popped out. Close that and drag this wherever you want. Now you can speed run however you like. Always remember to turn on global hotkeys when you're playing the game and to turn it off when you're not. And as always, have a good day.